Hey cool people, I'm Nick, I'm a he him, and this is a Kingdom Hearts guide, something no one has ever done before. This isn't about them. Today we're going over level up grind spots in Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. This video is split up into two sections, the first being mid-story level grinds at three key areas. Deez Nuts Islands, Agnes, and Spirit Halloween. The second section is based on this video's namesake, where I compare and contrast end game level up strategies. Okay, with that said, I must stash you a question. So first things first, the answers to the questions at the beginning of the game do matter to our level up process. What is your name? What is your quest? What is the capital of Assyria? All top three answers give us fast leveling, which is faster than <laughs> than that. Uh, it's the fastest route until level 42-ish, according to this German as hell website, where they plotted and graphed the EXP. Fast leveling becomes the slowest route from level 43 onwards. The middle three answers are neutral leveling, meaning it's completely in the middle during the entire playthrough. Perfectly average, even if my girlfriend says it's big. And lastly, the three bottom answers give us slow leveling. This route is slower than a glacier melting. What do you mean that's not slow? Global what? The slow leveling route is the slowest until about level 43, where it becomes the fastest for the rest of the game. Whichever you choose or have chosen is up to you. I like fast leveling because I don't have the cognitive ability of foresight. Yes, ADHD girlies, sound off. Also know that if you choose fast leveling, you will have to get about 100,000 additional XP as opposed to the slow leveling people. All right, let's get into the... The first grind we can do is right off the bat in Destiny Islands. I call it the Tetis Strat, and it's what masochists use to reach level 100 on Destiny Islands. Basically, the strat is to parry Tetis' short swipe, then run away. Titus will either A, backflip, to which we run up and repeat the parry, or 2, he'll chase us, to which we take a few steps, turn towards him, and parry again. This gives us about 40 EXP per minute, which is immaculate at this early level. Immaculate is a big word for Elmo. Now, we'll do this strategy until level 5 to 7, anywhere in there is fine, since it isn't too crucial. Now I hear you asking, what about fighting Riku, or Waka, or Selfie, or the Shadows? Yes, but actually no. Riku may give us the most XP per defeat, but it takes so long to take him down, we get way less XP at a little over 20 EXP per minute, and that's if you're really fast. Waka and Selfie have decent strategies, knocking the ball over his head and lunge stun locking respectively, however they both only give about 28 to 30 EXP per minute. And the shadows at night, while at least dropping potions, only give about 34 EXP per minute, and that's if you're one hitting them. They're all trash, they're dog water, they're stinky poopy baby strategies. Now let's move on to the next level grind in Agrabah. Also, here's a quick list of what levels I'm at at the end of each world on a proud mode run with just fighting regular Heartless as I go. Okay, time for the Black Fungus Strat. Now, when we reach Agrabah, it doesn't matter what level we are, because once we rescue Aladdin from the Suck Suck Sand, we'll kick Donald out of the party. Then we'll run to Aladdin's house, save, and hop down the left pole, run across the awnings, and jump over to this platform with the chest. Now we'll enter the bazaar and see if there's black funguses. Fungusy, if you will. You'll know if they spawn because our command menu will immediately be red upon entry. But if it's blue, we'll exit and enter four times. Upon our fourth entry to the bazaar, if no terrible toadstools have spawned, we'll soft reset the game and reload from our save. Now, a quick myth to dispel. You do not have to clear out the Heartless from the room to make mushrooms spawn. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Running in and out and resetting works fine, and it's so much faster. When these poisonous purple pests do appear, we'll pummel them. Uh, they drop 96 EXP per kill, and there's four of them here, giving us 384 EXP per round. When all four are beaten, we'll leave the bazaar, return to Aladdin's house, save again, then repeat the strategy. I recommend doing this until about level 23 to 25, and then moving on. Tell them, Bionicles theme. Also, just as a side note, grab the torn pages from Agrabah, Monstro, Atlantica, Halloween Town, and return 51 puppies to Pongo and Perdita. By the way, card in the corner for the puppies video guide. Um, if we get all the torn pages and complete Pooh's Muddy Path, we'll get an EXP accessory. Anyway, next up, the rare truffle strat in Halloween Town. And we can totally skip Atlantica to do it if you want. I got here at level 30, and once the doctor's experiment gets stolen, oops, 
We'll head to the bridge and basically do the same thing we did with the mob menaces. We can either, number one, run in and out of Oogie's Manor four times, and on the fourth time, drop into this stream, run towards the Golden Gate, and then take the big gaping hole on the right, which will spit us back out of the guillotine square. Then we can run back to the bridge and try again, or, number the second, defeat Curly, Larry, and Mo, and then use the evil playroom to save Scum, while still running in and out of the bridge from Oogie's Manor four times. Once the rare truffles do spawn, here's what we'll do. First, make sure you have the Jungle King Keyblade equipped. In this case, being longer is better. Then, we'll drop into the stream and nudge one of these blue bouncers towards the Golden Gate. Once we get close, we'll hit it into the air, then jump and hit it again, repeatedly, until we get it stuck sliding down the Sangria surface in the corner. With that extra hang time, we'll use it to jump, slightly flick the stick right, and attack it 100 times. And that, if done properly, takes approximately 1 minute 47 seconds. This can be tricky. These Monday to Friday fudge humpers can be a real pain. And in some cases, Sora can land too early, messing up the rhythm, and in others, Doodle and Goobas can get in the way, but we do get four chances, which is great. Now, if we get the 100 hits on the Buoyant Blights, we'll receive 5,050 EXP. And if we do it to two of them, that's 10,100 EXP, which is enough on any level speed route to boost us from level 30 to 35 in only three minutes. Excellent! That's all the mid-story level strats I have. If you have more, uh, feel free to comment them for other people. I know some folks like to use the gizmo shop, so, I mean, that's an option too. Anyway, on to... Assumedly by this point you've done most of the story, and are either trying to level grind for the secret bosses, or you want to get the level 100 trophy. You crazy bitch, let's get you there. Firstly. EXP boosting accessories. If you're on beginner mode, you'll get one off the bat. But all difficulties can get the following four EXP accessories. One from completing Pooh's Muddy Path, as I said before. Two from Synthesis. And one from defeating the Enigmatic Man, aka Sith Lord OC, please do not steal. When we get an EXP accessory, I suggest equipping it to Goofy, because as long as he's in the party, Sora will also get the effects. And Goofy will eventually have four accessory slots, so he's the only one who can hold them all. Now let's go over the strategies I've seen online. Hotel Loop by Key of Time 15, Bullying Ice Titan by GH Nathan, Gizmo Shop to Hotel Loop by Gamers Joint, uh, links to all their videos in the description, Bullying Rock Titan by just about everyone since 2002, and my personal favorite, Traverse Town Loop by me, the objectively best YouTuber. I'm going to compare and contrast these strategies and break them down into the EXP gained per second, with all of the EXP accessories equipped and all four of the tech boosts equipped. Which, uh, real quick, you can get the tech boosts from reaching level 12, 18, or 27, uh, weapon choice dependent, beating the fill cup time trial, returning 90 puppies to Pongo and Perdita, and reaching level 81. Alright, let's do it to it! First up, Hotel Loop by Key of Time 15. Basically the strategy goes, enter the hotel, defeat the doofuses and the Wilbers, then enter the green room. Clear out the search ghosts, enter the red room, expel the dark balls, and then return to the hotel and repeat. Um, I managed to get three loops within two minutes. An additional note, soft cap for strength damage is 45, sometimes 55, and soft cap for magic damage is 15 MP. And I hit both of these numbers to test these strategies. I got 3,360 EXP per loop. With three loops in two minutes, that's 10,080 EXP in two minutes, or 84 EXP per second. Which is pretty good. Next up is Bullying Ice Titan by GH Nathan. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? The big strategy here is block and sometimes healing. I know it's tough, don't strain yourself. Having Leaf Bracer and Second Chance on and also removing Slapshot is really useful. Now the immediate downside to fighting Blizzard Beard here is that we can only have three of the four EXP accessories on, but we do get to keep all four tech boosts. Defeating Mr. Freeze gives us 9,000 EXP, and each block has 125 EXP, and I get around 147 blocks per round, which is 27,000 EXP per fight. And taking 5 minutes per fight, that's 90 EXP per second. Not bad. Next up, the Gizmo Shop to Hotel Loop by Gamers Joint. How this strategy works is we clear the Gizmo Shop in Traverse Town. Tr tr tra traverse... Traverse Town. Then we go out to the second district from the front door, beat the two wyvern, clear out the hotel, and return to the gizmo shop. Encounter plus ability optional. The encounter plus ability has been optional this entire time. One loop took me two minutes, and that gets us 9,960 EXP, or 83 EXP per second. Basically on par with the hotel loop. Oh no. Fourth on our list is Bullying Rock Titan. 
The immediate issue with this strategy is that in order to be able to repeatedly fight the Boulder Behemoth, we have to defeat the Hades Cup, then clear the Hades Cup alone just Sora, and then finish the Hades Cup time trial. So there's about two hours worth of effort just to unlock this fight, but I want to see if it's worth it. Now this was tricky to figure out, cue the song, but based on having 55 strength and 15 MP, with teammates helping me and Aroga on, we get about 8,185 EXP per fight. If we do 65 Keyblade hits, Donald and Goofy do 40 hits, and Aroga does 80 hits. Now, a single round took me about 40 seconds, and when we divide that out, that's 204 EXP per second. And that's not even including if you cast Aroga on both Donald and Goofy, which will give us even more experience. So I think it could be worth it if you're willing to put in the time to unlock the fight. And finally, Traverse Town Loop by me. So the loop goes like this. Go into the alleyway from the first district, then clear it out. Enter the green room. Smash them. Enter the red room. Beat them. Then in hotel, bust up their beaches. Then enter the second district. Now, there's going to be two possible scenarios. If Sniper Wild, the pink monkey, spawns in, we run back into the hotel, then come back out as to reset the room, then obliterate the lower section of the second district. If the Sniper Wild doesn't spawn, we clear out the lower and upper section of the second district without entering the gizmo shop. Once the second district is clear in either scenario, we then enter the gizmo shop, wrangle these rap scallions, then go to the upper portion of the second district, then make our way through to the far window that leads to the third district. In there we'll pound this heartless posse, and then return to the first district, and repeat. I don't use Encounter Plus, but you can if you want. My fastest loop took 5 minutes, with approximately 29,000 EXP per loop, giving us 96 EXP per second. And if you're curious why Traverse Town and why not a different world loop, it's because it's the fastest. Okay, let's compare and contrast. Hotel loop equals 84 EPS, EXP per second. Ice Titan is 90 EPS. Gizmo Shop to Hotel Room is 83 EPS. Rock Titan is 204 EPS. And Traverse Town loop is 96 EPS. So the clear winner is rock titan by a it's like it's not even close um who knew people had it right since 2002 otherwise not to toot my own horn toot toot but traverse town loop is the next highest it's what i personally use before the rock titan strat is available one additional thing youtuber rich fahk you can say it out loud i'm not doing it had a defender block strategy that if none of these strats are working for you because you're too low level or you know you're not hitting like the MP requirement or the strength requirement, you can try Rich FAHK's strategy of going to the third district and deliberately blocking the fireballs that the defenders shoot at you. I'll also link that video in the description. Hey, if you enjoyed, it would mean the world to me if you subscribe for more content like this and like the video. If you want to support me further, I have a Patreon for as low as $1 a month, and you can also follow me on Instagram or join my Discord server. Here's some memes of affirmation, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye!